Hello everybody and welcome back to Uncharted The Lost Legacy Part 4. Uh, the, uh, the last um, video abruptly ended because the stream quit because, you know, the internet is, uh, you know, it's, it's so surprising. The internet in lots of parts of the world is great, but in America it's fucking garbage. Uh, and when you have shitty internet like Spectrum, you can expect nothing less than, uh, than absolute bullshit. So, I was only going to go for a few more minutes anyway, so it's not like it really mattered all that much. Um, but, I figured I would stop after taking the picture. Um, so yeah, I took the picture right where we left off. And now we're going to climb back up here. So we can climb up to here. They're even more impressive up close. And we're about to get closer. My apologies. Up here. I guess we'll start from up here oh, then. This way. You sure it's safe? No. Nope. You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, 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 oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Because you said please, I didn't actually. What you said, Ganesh, was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and our chosen pal ever do. He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Is this really the only way across? Yep. <coughs> Doing great, China. I'll be doing better when we get to the car. Surprised we haven't seen the Sard yet. I would. Oh, he's around. Don't we'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> Climb up this part. I think I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Thank 
Sorry. Oh. Jesus. Sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Jesus. Is our way in? Courtesy of the Persian army. Must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. <laughs> Alright, well. Ready? After you. Incredible. It's our old friends, Parashurama and Ganesh. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. So we have a treasure somewhere around here. They barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. Here we go. A Bidri hookah bowl. Oops. There we go. Nothing inside, but it's nice. Well decorated. Assume that'd be here. Oh, yes, hole in the wall. Here. Right behind you. Hey, look, armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. This all Persian? Uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Another treasure located near here. Ah. 
Gold cased ivory dentures. Come on. Gross. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Yeah. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Well, it's kind of because it is. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony. Anti Yishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. Tons of bodies. Oh, hell. Jesus. A lot of fucking this bodies. In the final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. This guy. Treasure over here. A palm leaf manuscript. Pretty good condition too, to be honest. Think maybe around here. I don't know. Here's our way in. Yeah, we have to pull the bodies out of here first. Can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fella. There we go. Speaking of bodies, we're going to have to push another one out of the way. Excuse me. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Alright, well... Just more and more bodies. Well, this device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. Huh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. Yeah, so, so basically... Uh, only one way to find out. We basically have to line... Oh, that slid the piece away from me. Hey, it's shadow move too. Basically have oh, to tough. move... Over you go. The idea is to get these all lined up so that I they see what's happening. The shadows reach the mural. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. So the thing that we need to do we need to come up like that, put him here. Okay. What next? That here. There. 
And then... This... This here, I believe we do this here. Right now we have to, ah, I fucked it up. Okay, let me move this back here real quick. I have to move this back. Because I have to move this over. Then we move that back that guy over this back like this This has to, they both have to line up, don't they? We have to move. This. That in the middle, so. Back like this. So then move this here. Move him back here. Just like that. I think that's right. it. Yeah, not too difficult. All in a day's work. Cool. Shadow play. And the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Amazing. What the shaver? I mean, my thoughts exactly. So it's now the key's transformed. Shiva. Razor? Yes. We've got an elevator. A huge ancient elevator. Oh no. No, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva, that's the symbol of... Below. Which was the old. The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. 
So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? Oh god. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Oh. Oh. Requires fucking lay down. Oh, we still alive. Oh. More talent. A little bit of luck. Oh. Hey, nice work, partner. Nice work. Put it there. Jesus, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueduct. <laughs> Water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Okay. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut you close to the bone back there. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> I really do like the dynamic between uh, Nadine and Chloe. The water I feel has like been channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll I feel like it. they uh, they really they go together pretty well. Um, and you know, I always like Nadine as well. Um, after Uncharted Four, you know, even though she was kind of a villain throughout. It was nice to kind of see her kind of come around after being betrayed. Huh. <laughs> so they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty is not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asav's keeping his men in the dark? Oh, undoubtedly. Don't. Maybe. But check 
out this watch. There's no need for anybody to take left or right because I killed them both. my other gun. Jesus! Dean, where the hell are we going? So we got a Kanjali carved dagger, I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. That's really cool. That's definitely a keeper. If I was a hunting treasure, that's definitely something I would want to keep. Is that thing carved on the floor? What do you suppose it is? Uh, you torture people good. in it. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. They were meant for uh. blood. Well, I know where to go. I mean, this... That clearly... Up here. I think there's a way through. I mean, that wall breaks. Looked like, so... But I don't, have any, I don't have any grenades, so... Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in the cell to getting tortured. See? Duly noted. Now, how the hell do we 
get out. Hear that? I do. Yep. There's the aqueduct. Alright. Water running down through there. And a way to climb up through here. Up here. There's a breach. Holy shit. Shiva. Great. It's got my fucking key. It's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. I probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. Salah poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. doing I'm I'm like I'm like stuck here proud of yourself a little yeah come on you see to rule a people you must first sow chaos I will incite my civil war stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king Starting with you. Yeah, get that dagger that I found out of your pocket. Yeah, break his fucking glasses. Woo. Oh boy. Oh. You okay? Yeah. I think so. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. Second here.
Okay, well, that wasn't the greatest. Uh, Sav has our key. Oh, my vision's blurry, apparently. Can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart. Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hi. Hey, you sure you're good to go? Good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. I have no weapons now. My Up here. Go slow. Here. Fraser, the gate's that way. Yeah, one sec. Just want one last look at this place. This is how it looked to the Persians before they invaded. Ready? Yeah. Not so funny. Oh, all my dad's research. And the tusk wasn't even here. Come on. Yeah, it's a really pretty uh, locale. I mean, to think that, you know, this is what it looked like. All right, let's get out of here, shall we? Well... Is there, there's no other treasure? Okay. Sorry, my, my, uh, my mother is texting me. She's asking me some questions. She's asking me some political questions. My mom's not a very political person. She's, uh, she's asking me a few things of like, what does this mean? What does this mean? Do you guys know I don't, uh, I don't bring politics into the videos. We keep that stuff out of Let's the videos. Let's get that thing open. Cause I like uh, I like uh, you guys to come here to be entertained, not to be told political views. I will say though, you guys definitely need to get out and vote. We're getting into that time. If you live in America, get out there and vote. And if you don't live in America, go vote for whatever your whatever country you live in when you have to vote. And uh, speaking of voting, let's vote to get this cow uh, out of our way, so we can get into where we ever need to be. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Assault's already heading inside. Okay, well, we better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Sam Drake. And the there's Sam. Sam Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave you him You knew my history dead. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Saab made you the obvious... <laughs> oh! Jesus! <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. Oh, trust no, me, she did. She can... Oh, she doesn't change anything. She can still can beat the shit out of anyone. Yeah. Well, maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the tusk. Come on, man. That's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. What the fuck? Listen, I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. 
Yeah, she did technically hold back when it came to hitting you. Go well, chapter six, the gatekeeper. I know that she doesn't like, you know, uh, Nate and Sam, but, you know, the thing that Nadine needs to understand is that those, well, this Nathan, get for being honest. Socked in the door. Nathan especially, uh, is very good at what he does, and if she can't respect no, that, that's her problem. Painkillers. Of course, they're back in the four by four. Have the map at least? No. All I got is my phone. Well, there's nothing. We slow down. Slow down. Oh. Well, at least I've still got my dignity. This is an engraved gourd jar. A serpents and ladders game. Hey, check that out! Ancient ser uh, snakes and ladders, folks. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I don't remember this treasure, actually. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering, I do. I have the trophy um, <laughs> for getting all the treasures. I know, like I said at the beginning, I was like, I don't have my data. I know some people be like, well, you're probably bullshitting me. No, I got all the treasures at one point. I just don't remember that one. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit, is that Nadine? Oh, she's really stepped in it now. I well, to get to her. So this is the one where we're going to want to try to stay quiet. Ooh. Because we got this big ass truck here.
surrounding us. Jesus. Jesus. I mean, I was gonna try to get that, uh... That, uh, silenced pistol, but... Well, he's going to drive back over that. So maybe I'll be able to detonate it while, when he drives over that. Gotta stay quiet. This truck is right here. This truck, this truck's like... I mean, I could always try to get up Well, hi. That's it. We're clear. Yeah, help me push this thing. There we go. You're welcome. You don't hit me. My face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. Look, Asav is getting a head start, and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. Look, I... Spit it out! Okay, cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up. Okay? This is your idea of an apology. 
Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority is the task. Not Sam Drake, and certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? <laughs> Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Oh, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like. Well, this is nice. <sighs> Well, you know, it's like the people, just like, it's just like Trinity in Tomb Raider. Everybody that isn't the hunter loves to just blast their way into shit. I'll be there. People wow. walking into the cow. The kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. I heard my... The, uh... My bracelet's glowing. Should be close to it. There we go. It is a 10th century oil bottle. Yeah, that's fucking old, isn't it? Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? Now I do. None of the noises could be good. Don't mind us. Tiger? This is India. Okay, we got this treasure here. An aged silver anklet. It's quite thick. She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. Some of this. Little fruits attached. Here you go. Oh, how nice. Huh. One more.
monkeys. Nadine, your favorite. Look, I am. Um, I have the C4 on me. I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? I did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions. Because this time he said he was on to something big. <laughs> he was always on to something big. But bandits raided his camp and... Um, local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So? Listen, Fraser, you don't have to. Oh, oh boy. What's it doing? Charging, I think. Tell it to stop, because I speak elephant. Look at it. Come on. <laughs> no wonder she was so distressed. All the other elephants. Hey, about the whole. Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited a family. No, oh, just keep your distance. They've got a cough with them. Right. Alright, well, I think we're going to leave it there for today, and uh, we will come back um, the next time to uh, continue. We're in uh, Chapter 6, going to be getting into Chapter 7 pretty soon, and that's pretty close to the end. I think there's only 8 chapters in the game, so uh, yeah. Uh, that's going to do it for this part. I hope that you guys are enjoying this playthrough. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, and goodbye.